I think I'm seeing two buzzwolves at the same time. Get me up. Get me get me up. Hello? Okay. Oh, you know what? It was probably Dragonites. It was probably these red No, that definitely is. Okay, get out of here. I see this one. Yeah, there's two right next to each other. That's hilarious. Look at it. <laughs> okay, well, these are Ultra Beasts. So, here we go. Uh, I guess we have two attempts. If we fail at one. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Maybe this will be enough. Well, let's test an air... Okay, okay, we did fail at one. Good to know. Um, but we still have another chance, thank goodness. It's kind of cool. I guess we'll just stick with the... I guess we'll just stick with the... Please. Okay. I... Mm -hmm. Chill. We're gonna just stick with the false swipes. That's really bad. It's gonna kill me. Ay, ay, ay. Um... Okay, well, at least we got it to 40. It's not great. But let's bring out Skeledurge. Let's just... Try a Beast Wall on it, I guess? I don't know what catch rate Beast Balls have on Ultra Beasts. Probably... Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright, well, there's one. That's awesome. Uh, That's actually... Two out of the three. Well, actually, that's two out of two that you can find in an ultra jungle. Um, but we do need a second poiple in order to evolve it to whatever it evolves to. I can't remember the name. But either way, I'm happy with finding just that. That's that's awesome. I can't believe we found two spawn next to each other. That was weird. But either way, that's super cool. Um, let me get it off of this page because I was sorting click. Oh, also, welcome to the welcome to the episode. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pixelmon. Um, we're still in Ultra Space, just running around looking for our our guys and uh, our our Ultra Beasts. I think we'll leave once we get three uh, different ones. So, oh, another zap plate. Don't mind if I do. Let's go into the Ultra Forest, though, because we should be able to find a an Ursa ring pretty easily. They're usually all over the place, and we need one in order to get Ursa Luna. Um, Ursa Luna is the the uh, item evolved form of. Ursa, uh, Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring, basically. But this looks like it's kind of a weird ultra forest. Ooh. Speaking of Ursa Rings, there's one in a den. Not really what we need. We need this instead. Hey, bud. Bam. False swipe him. Ouch. That hurts. X scissor him. Ouch. That hurts. X scissor him again. Ouch, that hurts. I'm dead. It's fine because everything in Ultra Space is easy to catch. Like th so. Where even is the ball? I don't even see the ball. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was there. I thought it was invisible. Guys, wait a minute. We might get we might get a level 100 from doing this Ursa ring. We might get Skeletor to level 100 from this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Ow. We need a golden bottle cap immediately. I need to get I need to get one from a raid. I'll, I'll do a bunch of dens. I'll bring you guys back when I get into the golden bottle cap. We're going to max IVs. Our skeletons. That's so cool. Okay. I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Aha. Uh -huh. Carcoal is evolving. I didn't even have to use... Um... XP candies on it. So that's kind of nice. Now we got Hatena. Um, Hatena's spawn, or not spawn, evolve at 32. And then um, that evolves at 42. 
So we can do one of them at least right here. Oh yeah, I forgot about Colossal. Kind of cool. Reveler. Are you kidding me? 6%. Reveler. So annoying. Okay. Uh, we're going to pick that up. We're going to put Carcoal where it goes. Uh, right here. Or Colossal. And then we're going to grab our other Hatena. Throw this thing on. And let's see what we can do. So we can get the... We can get the... Whoa. Take a lot of XP. That got me 30. Okay, so there's 32. And then... Uh, I guess... I guess we can use... We can do this one. I'll make this one the 42. Why? Why is... Uh, why is this happening? God, I hate when they do that. It's the most annoying thing ever. Don't you dare go back to it. You're walking right back into it. Yeah, you better miss it. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's take... Let's take this Hatchram out. No, we'll, we'll do, okay. Here. We'll do one large candy on this guy. That gets to 28. Actually, this will probably, yeah, I was gonna say. Bam, and then we should be able to go like so. Oh man. These random guys that just attack me out of nowhere, they can die. Anyway, um, and then we'll keep one of these Hatchrams and wait until it's the 42. Um, we're going to keep the XP candies that we have right now so that we have stacks in our inventory. We're just going to do that. Uh, but we'll take just a random one off. We will smack it back in there. And we just need to evolve a Mongrem. And I'll make sure that these do evolve naturally. And if they do, then we're set to go. Figured we might as well kill this Salazzle and try to catch it. Because we've never caught a Salazzle before. Still no golden bottle cap, unfortunately. Let's try a Dusk Ball on it. Might as well try. It's gonna give me three, and then it's gonna break. Yep. And we got no bottle cap from that either. Yeah, so I'm still looking. I'm still fighting dens, trying to get a golden bottle cap. Unsuccessfully so far. Usually we get, like, way more than we could ever need. And now, now that we're looking for it, of course. That's how it goes. Now that you're looking for it, you're not gonna find it. But, I'm continuing on. Well, um, I guess if I were to find an Ultra Beast in the den, I'd want it to be one that I've already caught, because the chances of me actually catching it after defeating it are really, really, whoa, uh, really, really low. There's Cosmog spawning. Um, so, because, like, if I got a Guzzlord in a den and then I failed to catch it, I'd be kind of upset. I'd rather just see a Guzzlord in real life. There's an extra large XP candy, still, still without, uh, let's get the dark, darkinium, there we go, extra large, okay, but yeah, I guess, I mean, it's not a big deal, because we have five beast balls, I mean, we could throw a beast ball if we did wind up getting an ultra beast in a, look at this, so um, Probably over this way. Somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, we could throw beast balls and hope that we catch it. Look at that Flygon up there. That's cool. Oh, this is a Salazzle. You know, might as well try Salazzle again, I suppose. Um, but anyway, I'm just continuing to try to get the Golden Bottle Cap and looking for these freaking Ultra Beasts. Okay, I'm tired of searching for the golden bottle cap, so I actually have an idea. Just real quick, we're gonna do this. Check out this, check out this sick idea. Ready? Boom, 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 right? Then we're gonna go over to Mag Mortar. Magmar. We're gonna hit him with Life Dew. 
He's gonna hit me. Ouch. No, he didn't hit me. Is he gonna hit me? Or is he just gonna... Is he just gonna status move me the whole time? Okay, fine. This is a wonderful time for me to get some levels then. That barely did anything. Hit him with confusion. Is it confused? Did he get confused? Magmar avoided it. Avoided it. Avoided it. Oh, confused. Okay. Let's see who actually wins this now. I don't know what this thing does. Okay. What about life do? Oh, it gives me life back. Nice. Boom. He's not confused anymore. Confusion. Go. Confusion. Go. How does he keep avoiding it? This is like this, this is the opposite of what I was what I was aiming to do. I was aiming to have like a quick like just put everybody away and then immediately die. I could have I guess gotten like a bulbasaur out or something to make it go a little faster. Okay, don't heal. Look at two health. Just kill me, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Wee. Okay, look, we're home. Then we're going to go like this, take everybody back out. Right? Right? Okay. We're going to use Lunala. We're going to go up up we go into the house we need to put our wings on and we have nine golden bottle caps in here which we're now going to use one of them on skeledurge Skeledurge's I individual value values have been maximized. Is that really true? IVs one. Boom. Why does it still say like the old ones? Should be one hundred percent. I'm gonna look up how they work. Okay, well it seems like it works. I almost just did something really stupid and healed myself when in reality what I want to do is go like this and now I'm back home. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um yeah, that's how that's like a good way to get home pretty easily uh whenever I want to. What did I have here? Oh yeah, my bread. Okay. Um let's just take all my party guys out and then die. And then go home, but make sure I healed here right before. Then use Lunala to get back. That's pretty stuff. pretty effective. Um, but yeah, so I guess Skeledurge now acts. It doesn't actually make it 100% IVs. But it acts like it has 100% IVs. Which I suppose basically means that it does. I don't know why it doesn't just make it 100% like on the thingy. I don't know why it doesn't just increase them, like, legitimately. Um, but either way, he should now have 100% IVs, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, our first level 100. Anyway, so now I don't need to bring you guys back unless I actually find an Ultra Beast. So, it will be until then. Or if I find a Shiny or something. Or, like, catch something new. I don't know. <laughs> Figured I might as well try to catch the Spiritoon. It's dark. Catch. I hate you. <gasps> I did it. I caught it. I caught a Spiritoon. That was my first one, I think. I'm pretty sure I've never been able to catch one before. Okay, Spiritoon. Yeah. Dude, nice. It's hard to catch those because you can't hit them with false swipe. But then they're weak to everything else. Dude, that's sick. Also, I keep finding these wells in the desert that have chests at the bottom of them. And they have beast balls. So I have an extra five beast balls now, which is really cool. Oh, I thought this was one right here. It's not. It's one of these guys. That's an interesting little... Oh, I should... I'm, like, grabbing pretty much every plate that I see. Because, what is this? 
There's water. That's weird. Interesting. Um, I'm grabbing pretty much every plate that I see now because uh, it's so important to collect them. Now I understand the, the true importance of it. Um, so yeah, I'm, t I'm just literally like collecting every single one. Are there... Nope, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting which thing is which. Anyway, yeah, I'm grabbing all the plates. Um, I know that I only had, I think, one flame plate. I know that I only had one meadow plate, so I need four of each. So I'm building my collection, basically. What? Oh, soul rock. Um, but this is taking a long time, so I'm probably going to stop after the next Ultra Beast that I find. Uh, and I probably won't even do that tonight. I'm getting pretty tired, and I'm thinking of shining off um, in a little bit. But I'm going to still give it a little while, maybe another 45 minutes until I give up. And then, uh, if I haven't found something by then, maybe I'll just end the episode or you guys will just pick up and my voice will be rejuvenated and I'll be so much more energetic and it'll be because it's a different day and I'm back at it looking for Ultra Beast. So we'll see. It would be very, very funny if I could actually catch this. I'm fighting a cleavor right now. If we beat this and catch this, that'd be the funniest thing ever. And I just like didn't have to smelt the thing or get get the scyther or last episode or anything. It'd be so so funny if we actually won it. Or gra grabbed it. There's no way though. It's a tier five guy. Five guys? Let's find it. Let's find out. Look how cool this guy looks. Dang. Oh, a wishing piece. Didn't think so. It's cool that we ran into one, though. I was, like, looking at the thing. I was like, I do not know what that is at all. Got no idea. There we go. Oh, nothing that we want. All right, continuing on. Um, so I'm in another ultra plant. I'm going to end the episode here, but I just learned that apparently there's chests on top of these pillars with stuff in them. Which is a very, very interesting concept. Because those things are freaking everywhere. But also climbing to the top of each one would take forever. So I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth it. But is, are there, is there stuff on top of each one? Like every single one, is there something on it? Let's find out. Up. Up. Yep. There's a tumble there. There's whatever. On top of this one. Tumble stones, Porygon parts. That's interesting. Oh, and XP candies. And max revives. Wow. Stuff actually spawns up here. Interesting. Um, anyway, what I want to do for the end of this video... Let's put some stuff away then. Um, it's going to be like this. <sighs> I came up here to escape the Pokemon, but they're still here. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna hop over to this thing, because there's no way there's gonna be stuff that spawns on top of this thing. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, as you can see, we have a ton of candy, uh, meaning that we are going to feed it one by one to our things. Mongrem's gonna start with just some extra smalls. We just want one more level, and Mongrem's gonna evolve. So using our mediums, we're gonna do that. Hatrum is gonna evolve at level 42, so we're gonna actually use probably an extra large and then a large on Hatrum. Whoa, this thing is big. Grimmsnarl, interesting. Okay, cool. Take that off, and let's go Gen 8, right back here. Okay, so we got Grimmsnarl now. Oh yeah, we need to figure out when my gnome evolves all of this stuff. Oh yeah, okay, so that's, that's kind of what's next, I suppose. Hatrum is going to evolve next. 
Uh, like I said, let's use a large XP candy. It doesn't get me there. But it gets me close. And then that. And then maybe this. Nope. There it is. Bam. Hatch room into what? I've never seen uh, Hatena's final evolution, I don't think. Let's find out. Uh... Oh, what the heck? Hat Hatterene. You're a weird looking fella, aren't you? Look at you. She's kind of pretty. <laughs> she looks silly. Okay. Um, let's take this off. And let's put that in. I love the color scheming there. It looks so pretty. And just like, I love the evolution of it. Like how it's in like a little cap there. And then it like, the hair kind of grows. I like that one. That one's kind of a cool, cool one. Okay, let me figure out uh, when my noon spawns. Okay, so it's when Galarian Linoon hits level 35 at night. Lucky for us, it's night. So this should do. That's 34. Using the last medium candy. Linoon is evolving. Oh yeah getting real big and it's gonna become a giant obstagoon bam this guy's pretty cool too i like obstagoon i had a shiny obstagoon in in a past life <laughs> um let's use that okay so that goes right there corsola is another thing i'm gonna look up how both of these evolve just so that I don't have to keep ending the video and restarting. Okay, so Cursola evolves at 48. So, in theory, I'm literally going to give it anything. So I'll just give it a large, yeah, cool. Cursola is evolving. It doesn't have to be at night, but we're doing it at night. And then Mr. Rhyme also evolves. Actually, I think it was level 38 for Cursola. That's kind of funny that we found it at level 50. There it is. Oh, that guy looks cool. That's a cool design. Whoa. Okay, I like it. Bam. And then Mr. Mr. Mime. Mr. Rhyme. Is coming out. And this is level 48. So this is going to take a couple of these suckas. Oh, it's part ice. That's kind of cool. Alright, that went from 40, 39 to 44, so I would say that probably... Oh! They might have gotten that wrong then. Because I don't think it said 44, or 43, or 42, whatever. I don't know. That was interesting. But anyway, here's Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme! Look at this guy. <laughs> Come here, let me show you let me see your face. Wait, is his face his stomach? <laughs> He's got a face in his stomach. <laughs> kind of a silly dude. Okay, and then everything on this page is done. I guess we got Snom. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't have Snom already. That's kinda of funny. Um we've got our Cleavor versus Luna. We can do those at home. I don't remember how to get Sneasel leveled up. Um, okay, let's see if we can do all of these, actually. So, let's get Snom out. I would guess Snom is just going to take one large... What? Okay, I should look this up. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we got to keep Snom on us because Snom is another happiness one. It's high happiness leveled up at night. So we have to keep Snom out. We should not have given those candies to it. And then I'm also going to figure out Dreepy. Okay, Dreepy or Bolt. Dreepy. Dreepy. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Oh god, this is going to take most. Yeah. Dreepies evolve um, naturally. But uh, the second evolution is actually at level 60. So we'll get both of... 
Oh, what is that? 75%? 75%, baby. Let's go. It says 79, but it's actually 70, 75. Let's go. Okay, we got level 50 on that guy. Let's get this guy too. Go, bam. This one's a little not funny. Bam and bam, level 50. And then we'll use the rest of the XP candies on just this guy alone. And we're definitely not going to get him to level 60. Um, actually, maybe we'll just keep him in the party. And put an XP share on him. Because I want to figure out how to get... Oh, you know what? This Ursaring might not work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up these three: Sneasel, Ursaring, and Cleavor, and let me figure it out. All right, well, none of the rest of them actually need levels, so I'm just gonna use both of these on this guy. We're gonna come really close. We're gonna come really, really close, actually. Ugh. <laughs> look at how close. That's crazy. Anyway, we're going to go home. Let's heal up here. And then let's go home real quick by doing that trick that we discovered, which would be to yeah, leave that guy there. Let's go just this page, I guess. Go bam, bam, keep our lowest level guy out. Our little snom boy. Let's head down and get killed by somebody. It should be easy to die in here because everybody here is fire and this guy's ice. So let's die to a Houndoom or a Magmar. How about that? Bam, I nailed that. Let's do struggle bug. <laughs> okay, we're home. Okay, so what we're gonna do is then get all of our fellows back out. Bam, 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 bam. Go back to the page we were on, right here. We're gonna hop on the Nala. We're gonna go upstairs. Bam. We're gonna smack our wings back on. For now. Don't know where my elytra are, so I'm just gonna put on this crappy pair. Beep. You're probably in one of my. That's stupid. Oh, that's really stupid. Okay, whatever. Probably in one of my shulker boxes. Okay, so what we need is peat block. We need a. Um. Black augurite. And we need a. Razor claw. Do we have a razor claw? We have a dragon thing. We might not have a razor claw. What does it look like? I could swear we have one. No? I I I feel like I've definitely seen like razor claw before, like pretty often. Rested shield, deep sea tooth, quick claw. Hmm, okay, hold on. We actually don't have one. However, Linoons. What's happening? It doesn't affect it? Or what? What kind of. What kind of guy is this? Apparently, Linoons do drop them 10% of the time. So in theory, I should only have to kill 10 Linoons, and then I'll have one. Also, Zangooses drop them, but I think those only spawn at night. But we can do one. We can do Black Augurite on Scyther. Beep! Ha 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 ha! We have to wait until nighttime for Urs Ursa Luna, unfor unfortunately. But luckily, you don't have to level it. So, 
I don't have to worry about. Huh? What just happened? Hello? What's going on? Oh, well now my game's stuck. Okay. Um I'll be right back. Okay, so that should not have happened. Oh. Oh, it's alive. Okay. It's fainted, but it's it's here. Interesting. That was weird. Anyway. Uh Ursulina we can't do until nighttime. Uh let's kill more Linoons. Try to get Try to get our razor claw. Come on. Bam. Yeah, in theory, just just ten. That's two. In theory, just ten. Ideally, less. Imperfectly, more. But if we have to, that's fine. No problem. We can kill more than ten. No problem. They just have to spawn, you know? They just have to actually, like, pop in. That's the thing. Okay, I'll be back. This is worth noting. 1,000 Pokemon defeated. That's actually <clears throat> a lot less than I'd expect it to be. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. Because an orb takes 400 souls. 400 defeats to fill. I've filled the entire Articuno one, and now I've filled about one quarter, because remember there was one before this, before I died, where that was about one fifth full. So I've filled about one quarter of another one. That should, in theory, be 500. That would be half of my total, according to the achievement I just got. Which would suggest that prior to working on the orbs, which we only started doing like 10 episodes ago, we'd have only killed 500. And that does not track to me. That does not sit right. Okay, I'm, I'm approaching... I'm approaching 10 attempts here. There's another Zangoose. Let's see what we get. Yeah, the next one, I believe, is 10. So, in theory, I should get one from this guy. Right? Wrong. It's gonna make me keep going. Here's my 11th. Here's my 11th one. Boom. Number 11. Nope. I thought it would be lucky number 11. Turns out it wasn't. Here's another Zangoose. Number 12. Let's see what happens. Zangoose. I missed. How is it like level 6 and then... Sometimes it's level 65. Yes, there's one. Bam. Okay. Uh, Here we go. We've got... Here's what's gonna happen. Bam. Ursa Ring comes out. Oh yeah, I just forgot Snom needs to be out. Uh, okay, Ursa Ring, bam, Peep Block, boom. Here we go. Where am I going? Why am I going away? <laughs> Why was my character moving? That was weird. Please don't do the thing again. Don't die. Yeah, look at that huge guy. This guy's huge. Holy moly, and he has health, man. Dang, he's got a lot of health. Okay, <clears throat> and then, so that's that one. And then it was this during the day. I almost did it wrong. Just now I almost did that wrong. That would have been crazy if I did it wrong. I might as well try to get another one, because why not? <clears throat> Right. Let's bring Snom out. Let's kill this guy. Shadow. I keep using ghost moves on these guys. Ghost doesn't affect normal. 
I need to remember that. Okay, I guess there's no point in taking Snom out if I'm fighting guys right now. And I also need to remember not to heal at all before we leave. I guess I could actually go back right now, now that I think about it. I could return to Ultra Space and then do this from there. We might as well do that, right? Let's kill this one last Linon. And then do that. Yep, only one from like 16. It's kind of crazy. Okay, let's let's return then. Um, bam, bam. No way. It forgets. It forgot. No way. Well, that's not fair. Uh, I might cheat my way back there actually, because that's kind of lame. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat back there. Um, but anyway, here we'll just do this then. We'll go like this, and then we're gonna hi Lunala. Let's just get that out of here. Um, let's see, where were we? Were we on this stretch of it? I think this is, yeah, this is definitely where we were. We went through this huge forest, and then we had just come out the other side. Right over here, we're going to set a waypoint, save. We're going to go to set waypoint, and up. Uh, bam, bam, bam. We're going to teleport. Cool. All right. So this is where we are, and then here comes sunrise. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Okay, let's get rid of this. Remove and let's heal up. Shabang. And then as the sun comes up, we will end the episode by evolving. Ishui and Sneasel into Sneasler by exposing it to a razor claw during the day. But let's wait until actual day to do so. Mm -hmm. Let's get the plates back out. Bam, 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 bam. Look at all these plates. Yeah, it's dread plates. Dread plates are all over the place in the end city. So I know that I have enough of those. Also now have enough zap plates completely, which is really cool. Okay. 30 seconds until full sun time. Spooky plates, I'm almost pot. I should have checked while I was at home. Oh, I forgot I had these. Okay, and then we'll do Dracloak after this then. Oh yeah, and bring Snom out. Snom, Snom needs Snom. a lot of happiness, doesn't he? He only has 74. He needs to be out for a long time. Okay, it's daytime. Here we go. Sneasel. Razor claw. Bam. Oh, yes. And this gets Sneasler, which just leaves Snom. And then we're going to do Dracloak right now. And that that's like, that's it. Oh, look, there's a Dracloak dent right there. That's funny. <laughs> there's Sneasler. Shabang. Okay. And then... We're going to smack you in there, and then Dracloak is going to come out, and bam. <laughs> I have never seen this one. I've never, ever seen this one. Are there two little guys going around his head? Let's find out. I bet there's two. Oh, there's none. Why does he... Dragabolt. <laughs> Dragon darts. Interesting. Sure. Dragapult. Why is it that the the first one? Oh, there are two. I knew it. I knew it. Look, he's got little ones. That's so cool. Kind of like that guy. All right, and then let's smack you right in there. That's in place of Snom. These are all legendaries. This is a legendary. This starts Gen Nine. This is that stupid one. That's full. Those are starters. Holy 
crap. We're pretty much done with Gen 8. I guess since I'm doing Ultra Beasts, I might as well start doing Gen 7. But we'll do that when we get back. Like I said, we're going to do all our Ultra Space stuff. And when we get home, we're going to... Look at this place. Bonk. Um, when we get home, we're going to do a bunch of Legendary grinding. Um, probably try to get at least three Legendaries... Or how about, yeah, how about at least one legendary for, from each of the, hmm, I don't know exactly what I'll want to do. Because to do so many at once is going to be really, like, that's kind of a tough task to put myself up to. I'll probably fall off of wanting to play if I do that. So I would say realistically I could get two for Gen 5. Because as we were looking at Gen 8, we realized that we had already done most of it. Uh, most of the um, legendaries, like the ones that we just looked at. There's just uh, seven left, which is really not that much compared to like Gen 3, which I think has like 10. And then Gen 5, which is the other one that we did. And that has like... 13 or something crazy like that so there's a lot of legendaries in the other generations that we did so we can do those instead um maybe we can try to find just one more from gen 8 just to kind of round it off but we'll see we'll figure it out when we get home anyway next episode we're going to start here again i'm going to be picking up more xp candies at this time like i don't really have anybody to give them to so that's going to be interesting because we're just going to stockpile them and bring them home probably. Um, but I'm still pretty set on getting two more Ultra Beasts before leaving. Um, especially since I know next time I'm going to be rejuvenated and ready to sit down and grind again. But uh, I'm not totally sure if I'm completely set on it. I mean, if it's still taking a really long time next time, and I haven't gotten one, and I just want to die, then obviously, uh, it's supposed to go there. My wood is supposed to go there. Um, then obviously, I'll probably say, you know what, let's just get one more and then leave. Just like with the Master Balls <laughs> the other day. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed. I'm very tired. I'm going to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye.